Of course, a big part of how we make sense of such contradictions is through historical narrative, the telling and retelling of a shared past. This happens in textbooks, movies, and art, as well as museums, like the one at Ellis Island. Still, as Lee recalled, these efforts can obscure as much as they reveal. Um, as I went through the exhibits on Ellis Island, I realized, you know, that it the museum exhibits do a wonderful job painting a, you know, violent and uh, exclusionary history of our uh, xenophobic past. After World War I, the fear of outsiders swelled and the door to America really began to swing shut. But the Johnson that is treated as over and done with, as unfortunate episodes. Year, and made it particularly difficult for Eastern and Southern Europeans to enter. That extremists Congressman Albert Johnson pushed forward, defended the legislation. but that we've long since put aside, that we've learned our lesson, of alien blood. that the there's United no way to go back to that time. Our land. We intend to maintain it. You know, Siva, this story shows how paradoxical it is that we celebrate America as a nation of immigrants, yet we see anti-immigrant rhetoric openly deployed to energize and polarize citizens, voters, people. In fact, Erica Lee's work argues that nativism and xenophobia are deeply woven into the fabric of American history. 